Welcome back to part two of our Sailing Solar Energy video series. Um, in the last video there was some question as to the orientation and the method of fixing the solar panels onto the spray hood and the Bimini. Stick around and find out how we did it. So there was some question about whether we should put the panels going that way or going this way because of the shadow from the boom. But the overwhelming response from the previous episode was that under no circumstances should the solar panels be resting on the Bimini bars because it would reduce the lifespan of the solar panel. So we're going to put them on this way. Decision made. Yeah. What's so, happening today, babe? So we're putting the solar panels on the Bimini in the spray hood. Because it's going to hook up the wires, make sure everything clips together and has enough reach. They fit pretty well, don't they? One. More of a positioning exercise today than anything else. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Tiny. Now we have to hook everything together. Yeah, we have to hook everything together, but it's not like we're going to be getting much power out of it today. Look at that. Gross! That's got plenty of reach on it. That'll go in there. That'll go in there. Like that. Ooh, hey. well, good to know that that works. And then the negatives will do the same. About the negatives because they've got less reach because there's no diodes on the negatives, so eek, might be a problem. Let's try the negatives. I've done this the right way around. Oh, yeah, okay, so that's going to go in there. Like that. That goes on there. Brilliant! And that all fits together nicely. Good job! What's occurring? So, we've established that we can successfully connect all the panels together. They, they, they're going to be a bit close and tight here on the deck. And the spray hood and the boom. But there's enough length in the cables here to, to join them all up here. Um, and then there's an opening underneath this fiberglass arch underneath for the light to go in. And so on the top of the arch, above the opening where the light goes in, we're gonna drill a hole big enough to get both of the cables through and then attach a seal to that, um, which we glue on. And then we're going to shove the wires through, they will attach to these, the wires will go through this hole, down through the arch and out of the opening where the light is housed. We'll pull all the cables through, seal the cables on here, and then we've got a wire, this piece of string which we've threaded from inside the cabin up through this arch out into the cockpit so then we're going to attach the solar panel cables to the string and pull them through into the bedroom um, and once we've done that we can then reinstall the light fitting so this will all be completely sealed off and we'll have the cables exposed to plug the panels into 
And now down in the bedroom, you can see the opening here that we've pulled the string through into. So the cables for the solar panels will come through this opening, through here, this hole, take it along here, past the window into this compartment. We've removed this bit of ceiling panel here. In fact, we've removed the entire ceiling panel. And we've managed to thread a piece of cable down through some trunking into the engine compartment. Now, that is going to be very interesting because <laughs> the trunking is about this diameter. And it was not easy pushing this through. And this is a very thin piece of cable. Now what we need to do is attach our wires to this and pull them down through the trunking into the engine compartment. Once we're in the engine compartment, it's all a piece of cake because we can just run the wires through into the battery bay here. So all the wires from the engine compartment come through here. That's a piece of cake. Once we're into the engine compartment, we're free and clear. Is it? Is there? That's it. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> the trunking is so narrow that I don't think we're going to be able to pull it through. I just don't think it's going to happen. Is he? Is there? Yeah! Hey. Yeah. 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 Awesome. So in the meantime, I'm going to mount the charge controller on the back of the battery bank. <laughs> So to operate at um, optimum, the charge controller needs to be within five degrees Celsius of the temperature of the batteries. Um, so I'm going to mount the charge controller in the same compartment as the batteries and therefore they'll be the same temperature. I need four screws. I think these are going to be just... Fine. It might even be a bit small to be honest. Ooh wee! Job done. Just quickly recap what you've got there. Right, this is the MPPT Smart Controller. Now that essentially takes the charge from the solar panels and puts it into the batteries in an in the most efficient way that it can. I'm gonna go and Attach this kind of screwdriver here. Do I need this? Is going to be fun. You mean toes don't touch anything? What's your noggin? I'm putting it in upside down because. Access to the wires will be from the top then, so that'll make life a lot easier. Then just pop that on there like that. I might pop it on there like that actually. That looks easier. Right next to the batteries. Let's have a butcher's in here. Ah, battery. Well, that's 120 amp hours. We got five of them. Good old Sharpies. You didn't know what they were a couple of years ago. I didn't. I thought it was a pen knife. Huh. Well, that's easy enough. There's one. There we go. Oh, here comes my soup. Isn't it? So now it's back to us as well, isn't it? Yeah. But what I do want to check is our smart solar panel. We can connect to it. So I've installed the app and it's come up, it's there. So let's connect to it. See what we can see. So we should be able to see everything that's going to go on with the solar panels once the solar panels are attached to the Bimini Inspiration. 
and we think we might have figured out how we're going to attach them now so that's exciting too we just need to pop into town and get some bits and bobs don't we it's been a long time coming it's been oh. a long time coming how long have we had these panels just sat there <laughs> bloody know. weeks imagine no more engine running oh my goodness change pin code pin code changed ralph ralph is growing is he hmm? he's growing very slowly so is our financial situation <laughs> <laughs> right, it's all updated. We're actually getting some readings already. I don't know how that works. I mean, it's saying solar, zero watts, but that's because the solar... <laughs> the panels are behind you. <laughs> yeah. So it's telling you what's in the batteries? Yeah, it's a battery monitor as well. Yeah, the voltage is 13.85 volts. History. Oh, it's going to give us a history! <laughs> Wow, graphs and everything! <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I might get a bit obsessed with this. <laughs> We're heading into town because we have found a little hardware shop where we can get the fixings to attach the um, solar panels to the Bimini spray hood. So we're just having a little walk into town uh, to pick up some. Fingers crossed they've got everything we need. I've got to stand out here with the dog. She's not allowed in. It's totally got everything in there. It's like an Aladdin's cave in there. It's insane. It's like what they don't have in there, you don't need. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got everything. I think. I hope. Awesome! We have faffed around. One of the reasons we haven't installed the solar panels yet is because we haven't figured out how to attach them to the roof, to the bimini and the spray hood. And we went through a number of iterations. Do we have fabric hoops with eyelets or grommets in them and uh, attach them to the solar panels like that? The solar panels have little eyelets in them, have eight each. Um, but then it was really hard to get a hold of the pieces and, and we don't have the experience to sew very cleanly onto the spray hood and the bimini. So we've come up with this solution. We're going to make 24 of these. Now, let me explain how these work and I'll build one for you. Uh, basically, these go through the spray hood or the bimini fabric and attach to the solar panel, right? So here's how we're gonna make them. We've got a whole bunch of stuff here. And it's all common stuff that you can find in any hardware store. We found them in this really wacky shop, it's brilliant. So these things are the things that you stick under the legs on chairs to stop them scraping along tile floors. Um, but what they're gonna do is, we're gonna stick these one to their, and they're adhesive, so we're gonna stick one to each side of the fabric where we want the, the hole to go through, where we want the binding to be. And once they're attached to the fabric, just imagine this white bit is the fabric. We're gonna drill a hole through the middle Table. Brilliant. Table. And then through that we're going to put a bolt. Here's a bolt with a washer on the end. Okay. Hasn't quite gone all the way through, so a bit of force I should see that through. Okay, so we've got these two cushiony bits on each side of the fabric and a washer with the bolt going through. The fabric is the white bit in the middle, okay? Then we're putting another washer on the top and we're basically gonna squish the fabric in place. We've got a nut here. So a washer, then a nut goes on. And then we tighten that on. So basically the washers and the black fabricy things are going to be squishing the fabric so they're going to really grip it and the the adhesive on the inside of these rubber things will stop the fabric from running essentially okay then we need to create an air gap between the solar panel and 
the bimini. So we've got these things, which are basically just little rubber feet. Essentially a more advanced version of these things. You can screw these onto the bottom of your chair legs and then you've got little rubber feet for the chair legs. Okay, we're going to use it like this. We're just going to simply push this through the bolt and over the nut. And then the solar panel is going to sit on top of that. That goes through the grommet in the solar panel. And then to hold the solar panel on, we've got little rubber washers so that there's no chafing. We've got a rubber washer. So solar panel on, rubber washer on, final washer, metal washer to hold it in place. And finish it off with a nut. Tighten the final nut on. And your solar panel is held nice and secure. Ta -da! it is from underneath. Go. Let's check the app. We unplugged yesterday from shore power at about two o'clock in the afternoon since we have been running on pure solar energy. <laughs> the sun went down at about past five, six o'clock. Since then we've been obviously getting no solar energy. <laughs> and we ran the telly, we had the lights on, the fridge, the freezer, the charging laptops. The inverter. Yeah. And the battery alarm did go off at about quarter to six this morning because someone left the light on all night. <laughs> so yeah, we're pretty happy I'd say. Pretty happy with that, yeah. What did we do about the battery alarm going off? Just turned off. <laughs> Just boop, off. It was only an hour before sunrise so I think the batteries can, can deal for that amount of time. Tell you what though, I am obsessed with this app. <laughs> I can't stop looking at it. It's, it's, there's graphs, what, what's going into the batteries, what amps are going into the batteries, what's coming out. Okay. So we're currently getting 90 watts. Which isn't great. It's not great, but when the sun's quite low in the sky because it's still fairly early. But you know, it's supposed to be a sunny day today when the sun gets a bit higher in the sky and the clouds bugger off. We'll uh, see what happens. I'll tell you what, when I woke up this morning it was showing 150, so... Wow. Getting up there. Mm. Mm. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like and subscribe. Help us make more videos like this by joining our Patreon family.